Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I am Nathan, and today we're gonna to talk about how to wire an Atlas IED wall mount audio mixer. So today I have specifically the Atlas uh, IED WTSD-MIX31K. Uh, this is one of our favorite new little devices right now that we can use for a lot of purposes that I'm excited to show you guys about. Uh, but we're also going to show how to wire it all up to take some of the mystery and guesswork behind it. So this is basically a, a wall-mounted 3 by one mic, line, auxiliary, and Bluetooth analog audio mixer all in this small little package. Um, so this fits into a traditional two gang um, junction box. Uh, it uses industry standard network cable, like Cat5 or Cat6. Um, it has commercial grade Bluetooth. It also has a built-in XLR input, wired 3.5 millimeter input. It also has phantom power, also built-in a uh, low cut filter, also priority and mute inputs available. Um, as well as even contact closure uh, triggers. Um, it has input lights, um, peak indicators, um, an auto sleep mode, an optional locking door, and, and can be hooked up to other panels and can also can hook up to uh, some of its other uh, brother and sister mixers that are out there. So all in all, a very super cool device uh, that can be used in a lot of applications that we'll get to. First things first, when you buy this uh, mixer, it comes with at least two parts. The other part is the bob, the breakout box. The breakout box has a series of connectors here, uh, which correspond to their various purposes, as well as this is where the power supply connects. Um, so you plug in the power supply into this device, then you have a network connection. So then you connect your network cable into this box. And then from there, wire it, uh, you know, a few hundred feet away over to your WTSD, which has a connection um, to pass through to another one or to uh, go back to your breakout box ultimately. Uh, and you just make that simple little connection there inside your wall, inside of your uh, dual gang box. From there, as I mentioned, we have a microphone input. Uh, this means that you can put this wherever you need and say plug in a uh, push to talk microphone right there on the front. You can plug in an output from a wireless mic receiver. Um, or if you want to do your own little portable mixer, you can set this to line level and plug that in uh, as well. You also then have your uh, connections for plugging in a music device or for Bluetooth pairing right there on the front. From here, if we go back to the breakout box, some of the connections on here say things like balanced, plus and minus, as well as a ground. That's an audio ground. Uh, that means that ultimately with those connections, uh, we can wire from this device, you know, just with a conventional uh, shielded um, microphone wire. We can come out of this device and technically this is a mixer. So we could plug this straight into the inputs of an amplifier if desired, uh, or we can plug it into a larger system and into the inputs on say a mixer amplifier. Uh, also, if you want, you can take this cable and terminate it to an XLR or a quarter inch and plug that into the inputs of your favorite mixer as well. So ult ultimately a very versatile and flexible way to add additional inputs uh, remotely in your space as well as um, uh, Bluetooth. So basically once everything is connected here, uh, the lights come on to illuminate that you do have a functional device. Uh, you can push and uh, pair the Bluetooth. Um, when done, you can also push to disconnect the Bluetooth. That's one of my favorite features because we use these an awful lot in like uh, high school gymnasiums. And sometimes the coach doesn't want to be paired all day long. So they show up, they push the button, they select the Bluetooth on their device. The Bluetooth can be named. Um, there are guidelines on how to do that inside of the manual. Uh, and then when um, the, uh, the big game is over, the practice is over, push that button again to unpair uh, to allow the next person to get there. If you've got the locking door, that means that uh, nobody can access it. That means that none of the kids can come over and push the Bluetooth button to, to uh, kind of get involved into the system. So that means it's safely tucked out of the way. Um, this is also outdoor rated. So with that covered door, um, you can put that out at a, a baseball field or football field if needed and have no issues there. Um, if you have questions about how to connect it, uh, if you have questions about where you might use it, definitely drop us a like, uh, leave your comment down below. Make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date on what we're working on. Until next time, guys, I'm Nathan. Take care.